No, let's be for real. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Books worth traveling to Costa Rica. Hi guys. I totally just I was texting Betsy and I just wrote also Tennessee also. <laughs> I was like, why did I just type that? I don't know. What are you doing, John Bell? Hey. Yeah. yeah. It's it's under apps. Like, huh? We need to get in that line. No, I think Doc is going just to ask about that return itinerary. Hey, Caleb. Is it our Yen's utilities? Yeah. Should be. Oh. Hey David. Hey Baka. Documenting our journey. I I am. Do you have anything to say significant to this? No. You? Oh yeah. <laughs> don't say hi, Jack. Oh, don't. Well, why did you just say that? Don't joke about that. We don't do it. Phone can be our black if we start. Okay. I love that. We, John, if we first start cracking. Nope. Come back. I just want to remind you all. We're all counting. That's my favorite part of the whole song. Sie bleed und glied. Do you have anything to say, Way, to the people of America? <laughs> I am speechless, Pocket. You kind of caught me at a like non-theatrical time. I'm actually needing some rest and a little bit of R and R, you know, rest relaxation. So I'm gonna sit down and get me a quick, you know, pulling in my pud in. And, uh, yeah. What about him? <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Do you have anything to say for this documentary? I, I asked if you were making a documentary. I am. Okay, okay. good. Yeah. Good. good. Hola, damas oh, y caballeros. Somos de Johnson City en el sureste de los Estados Unidos. Oh, you're doing your opening? Boldo Gasson Yanak. Caballeros? Cursing them. Cursing them. Cowboys. Cowboys, yeah. yeah. Caballeros. Cowboys. Bueno, nosotros esperamos. I kill women. I kill women. Please don't talk that fast. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to make it like I'm, women. like I'm thinking as I do it. No, I'm going to slow down to that. I'm just trying to work. I'm trying to learn to, but I'm always going to change the Maybe you should do it like that. What? Hi, Bricky. Here we go. Documentary, yay, we're going to Costa Rica. Good job, Jeff. Good job. <laughs> do you have anything to say for the 12 bucks worth uh, documentary? Hey, I love being on video so much. It's my favorite. Is that sarcasm? Yep. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Sean? I love you, Tana. What is my, what's the time? That's it. <laughs> that sucks. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Oh. Look at that redneck. Coming out behind the pillar. You know, only people like you document everything. Because they have no life. <laughs> you gonna sit home and cry and watch that video? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, those days are gone. I uh, probably will, actually. I think David likes being on camera. Oh, camera. Uh, I'm from Tennessee. So are you hoping, like, you're going to be making this and then some crazy is going to happen and it turns into a movie? No, I really just kind of want to document it. I love how he's carrying a fishing pole. He has a fishing pole set. It's all the same. We now have our dividend miles chairman, platinum, gold, and silver card members. It was the zip tie off of, uh, or not zip tie, twist tie off my headphones. Okay. Why do you still have it? Because it's in the pocket. You like video tape, which time is this pressing? Yeah, I didn't know it, and I was in Honduras. And I was like, oh yeah, this is. I was being silly, like I'd be like an L or whatever. I, I want to drink me some L Coco. Go in, go in New York. Separate. I will team them together. And you're gonna. But anyways, I said I'm gonna put it on DVD. Maybe give it to everybody. Yeah, I know. 
It's a dirty <laughs> word, for, but apparently it's like worse than the F word. Yeah, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't see hey, how or why, like how can that be? I don't know. I'm making a 12 bucks worth documentary. Hey. Do you have anything to say for the documentary? You just said the fifth. Just, just make sure. Well, I mean, I got all of that, what you just, just said. What about you, Doc? Yeah. I have nothing to say. Oh, I think that will change. Yeah. I plead the sixth. I plead the sixth. What is the sixth? <laughs> I don't know. It's the fifth. I shouldn't. No, I don't like this. It's okay. I don't know. What's up, Caleb? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Getting, good. getting ready to head to a foreign country. Me too. I'm excited. Uh, this will be the first time that I'm ever out of the country, guys. I'm excited to see some big spiders. My sister, my sister. My sister wants me to take a picture with a sloth. Ooh, let's do it. I want to. I should probably not. We go back. All right. Why not? Why not, Spiders? Me amo way cool. John Pengo, DSN Web Onions. Y yo estudio filosofías y biología. Watch out, so I'm gonna throw this up here with one arm. I don't know how to work. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> hey man. I'm mainly just documenting Wade. I feel like this is gonna be a documentary on Wade. <laughs> Cause, like, have you ever tried to explain oh, Wade to like, somebody? You know, it's like impossible. Do you have anything to say about Costa Rica? <laughs> oh well, that's okay. I was really just trying to capture Wade.
have a video. What are you recording? It is water, yes. So there's stairs that go into the water. Like, is that is that like the top of? You can delete it if you want. Like Zeus's underwater. Hey guys, um, this body of water on the left side. This is Lake Arenal. Oh, it's a lake. Uh, this is the biggest lake we have in Costa Rica, and it's a man-made. So this is the biggest reservoir for electricity we have in Costa Rica. So this lake was built by the Costa Rican government between 1970 and 1981. The volcano is on the right side, but of course, you know, you cannot see it from here. 85% of the time, you know, it's foggy like that. Anyway, Lake Arenal is actually the place where we get most of our electricity. Um, before they built the lake, three towns were flooded. That was back in 1975, so all the people that were living here were relocated. Now they're living in a different place. Um, how big is the lake? Well, it's 40. Um, 40 kilometers long, which is around 25 miles long. Um, Costa Rica has been producing electricity for a long time. The first hydroelectric plant in the world was built in New York around 1884. So U.S. was the first country with electricity. But we're talking about a really big country, right? What was the second country with um, electricity? France. So the second one was built in Paris around 1886. France is another big country. And the third country with electricity was Costa Rica. The third hydro plant in the world was built in San Jose. So Costa Rica became the third country in the world with electricity. So we have been producing electricity for a long time. All the power that we have in Costa Rica, to be exact, 90% of the power comes from hydroelectric plants like this. How much energy do we get out of this lake? 44% of all the electricity that we have in this country is, is coming from this lake. The biggest lake in Central America is in Nicaragua. The second biggest lake in Central America is this one right here. Now, is it good for electricity production only? No. Uh, the elevation here is only 1,500 feet above sea level. Yesterday when we were in San Jose, we were at 4,000 feet. So this is much lower right here. This is only 1,500 feet. So this lake was built between two mountain ranges. And you can see all the moisture is coming from the east side of Costa Rica. The trade winds in Costa Rica move from east to west. So they reach their maximum velocity around January. We're talking about 120 kilometers per hour. So the west part of Lake Arenal is one of the very best in the world for what? Surfing. Windsurfing. This is one of the best spots in the world for windsurfing. People come from all over the world to do windsurfing in Costa Rica between uh, January and uh, March. So right now, this is a good season for windsurfing. Well, uh, wind but this surfing. is the west part of the lake. Um, basically, my friends, the lake is also good for fishing, uh, water skiing, and other things. Like I said, 44% of all the electricity we have in Costa Rica is coming from this lake. Uh, before 1950, there was an American company producing electricity in Costa Rica. That was bad for Costa Rica because we had to buy our electricity from this American company. Back then, before 1950, electricity in Costa Rica was not tax exempted. Today it is. So, after 1950, we abolished the army and the Costa Rican government established the ICE. Sometimes in the telephone polls you can read ICE. That stands for Costa Rican Electrical Institute. So this institution was actually established in 1950 to have a better distribution of the energy that we produce ourselves. So the uh, energy production in Costa Rica is monopolized since 1950. The Costa Rican government is the only, uh, the only one who can actually generate power in this country. Electricity is also an export alternative. We are exporting electricity to Central America. So this is another source of income that we have for this country.